Geppetto's animation control system is Super 78's proprietary living character animation technology. We developed Geppetto ACS because we wanted to make cutting edge feature quality digital puppetry practical and affordable for any kind of entertainment venue. Theme parks, museums, aquariums, they're all perfect homes for Geppetto ACS. Puppetry is one of the oldest live entertainment art forms. Geppetto ACS, we're bringing it to new generations and making it state of the art. It's all digital puppetry. That's really the best way to, to say it. So um, I've got a headset uh, and I've got a microphone. So when I talk, Patrick talks and then I do his voice. And so it's kind of synced up to his vowel movements and things like that. And then as far as his body goes, I have controls, buttons. I have a, a controller that I use. Uh, like, like you would a marionette or any other kind of puppet. Geppetto ACS was also designed to give the performer maximum creative flexibility while staying within the established personality of a beloved, world-famous character. We created the first version of Geppetto for the Donkey Live attraction at Universal Studios Singapore. Along with creating the front-end animations, we had to design and build out all the bag-of-house technology. This show required multiple operators, and that meant a lot of hardware. Geppetto ACS now has the capability to incorporate multiple characters and all kinds of different environments. It also handles branching storytelling, 3D imagery, multiple scenes, and multiple in-theater effects. The Geppetto stage is designed to quickly and easily swap out backgrounds and CG environmental models. We can also play back video files underneath both live and pre-recorded animation sequences. The other new thing that this show has that I've never seen in any other digital puppetry is the audience literally has control to pick where they go in each adventure. As soon as Donkey Live opened, we started upgrading Geppetto. Donkey Live is a one character, one location show, and we wanted to push the envelope. We also took everything we learned from the Donkey system to streamline everything, including the Geppetto ACS console. It's inspired by the classic animation desk designed by Disney artist Kem Weber, a nod we wanted to make to the legacy of the art forms we're working in. Geppetto ACS is also an incredibly powerful media playback server, delivering ultra-high-def stereo imagery and seven-channel surround audio. And it triggers all show effects either by the live performer or through the show's timeline. Geppetto's timeline architecture is a major feature, which allows for plenty of spontaneous interactivity, but it also maintains the overall structure of the show and controls the show cycle. With Geppetto ACS, we generate a comprehensive library of predefined, IP-approved animation bits, which are blended together in real time to create an infinite combination of sequences and animation. This gives the show the most spontaneous and live interactive feel while still building guide rails to maintain the character's brand and personality. Geppetto also includes a Keep Alive feature. For example, when Patrick stars waiting for the guest response, he won't default to a static position. He will shift around on his feet, scratch his head, and just behave in a way that a living, breathing Patrick Star behaves. Geppetto is designed to use a standard game controller interface. We developed this for ease of use and to significantly accelerate the performer training process. The system is amazing. The controller is kind of your go-to. That it has very basic facial emotions like surprise and angry. You can also move around quickly with the controller and you can move his neck and his eyes, which is what really keeps the puppet alive. And then the complicated animations are on a big touchscreen panel console that we have. So you can touch, you know, fall backwards and shrug and walk over in this direction and point at someone and things like that. We're giving the digital puppeteers and the operators the tools that they can do anything they want. This is the next step in this digital puppetry evolution because it's a 4D element combined with choose your own adventure for the audience combined with an interactive digital puppet. It's awesome. I've never seen anything like this before.